You're watching Pittsburgh Steelers Talk by Chat Sports. Here's what's coming up on today's show. We'll break down the signing, well, the acclaiming, I should say, made by the Pittsburgh Steelers, the rapid rise of Kenny Pickett in the past couple days slash weeks, the latest on a potential Mason Rudolph trade. Many of you may like that update. And will kind of body Devin Bush for missing the mark with his latest comments. All that's coming up, but first, the roster move made by the Steelers. They claimed center Ryan McCollum off of waivers from the Detroit Lions. He does add depth at the center position, and he actually played a little bit last year. The problem was when he paid or played, it was not very good. He got beat among uh, at one of the highest rates among all centers, ignoring the minimum threshold last year across the NFL. So depth, practice squad, not somebody you want playing based on what he's done so far in his brief NFL career. So the updated offensive line depth chart then kind of looks a little bit like this. Steelers actually have several guys that can play center. Mason Cole, Kendrick Green, J.C. Ossenauer now, Ryan McCollum. Although, obviously, Green's going to continue to work exclusively, really, at left guard as he fights for that spot. But come, you know, 53-man roster time, he offers you positional flex. McCollum, I don't think, will end up making this team. But we'll see what happens, how the rest of the preseason uh, unfolds for the Steelers. So our first question. And I want you to be honest, no lying, a safe spot. Have you heard of Ryan McCollum before? Why for yes, N for no, let me know in the comments section. Before we get to some updates on Kenny Pickett, Mason Rudolph, Devin Bush, and some bodying of media to come, if you're a true fan of Steelers Talk, show it by sharing this video on social media. Facebook, in particular, one of the easiest ways to go about it. Simply click share. Select the Facebook icon. You can tag Chat Sports so we see it as well. Then click post. Pretty straightforward to do so. Let's see if we can beat our mark this month of 25 shares. Help us out by sharing this video right now on social media. All right, on now to Kenny Pickett. He's getting some first team reps and second team reps as well. He's been unofficially, I guess I'll say, promoted to second string quarterback. Began camp as the third stringer. He's been getting second team reps all week at practice. Mike Tomlin says the plan is for a bigger role in the preseason matchup coming up in week two for the Steelers. He fared very well in their week one matchup, but he even got some two-minute drill reps with the first team for the first time on Tuesday. That is a positive sign for Pickett and for the Steelers this offseason. So the pin question of the day, how many games will rookie quarterback Kenny Pickett start this season? Anywhere from 0 to 17 will make it regular season only. This is the pin comment on today's video. So if an ad break happens to come here on YouTube, take advantage of it. Head down there and let us know. I think this is a good thing, by the way. For the series. Whether your number is 0 or 17 or anywhere in between, I think Kenny Pickett apparently working his way up the depth chart is a very promising thing for the Steelers as an organization. I thought all three quarterbacks fared pretty well overall. We'll come back more in depth on Mason Rudolph, by the way, in a moment. But Pickett, I thought, had the best of the three showings, then Trubisky, then Rudolph. Obviously, the overall yards, not that high. A lot of shorter area stuff for Pickett. 13 of 15, though, is nothing to laugh at. Plus, of course, the game-winning touchdown. So the new depth chart. Trubisky, quarterback one. Pickett, quarterback two. Mason Rudolph remains CB th or quarterback three, QB three. And Chris Odokun did get some reps, by the way, for really the first time all camp slash off season, beyond like, you know, rookie minicamp, et cetera. I would not be that surprised if he gets a little bit of playing time in the second preseason game. Pickett, though, is the subject here, the focus right now. I am optimistic about how he's fared so far for Pittsburgh. I think a slow start early on. I will never for, uh, forgive Mark Madden for saying, Pickett might not play in the preseason. Never made any sense. Absolutely ridiculous and never should have been believed. And that's been bore out as 100% wrong so far. So pick a quarterback for me. Who do you want as the Steelers' lead man at the most important position on the football field? Type in KP for Kenny Pickett, MT for Mitchell Trubisky, or MR for Mason Rudolph. 
More on Rudolph in a second. But first, today's show is made possible by our sportsbook partner. If you want to bet on Pittsburgh to win the AFC North, to make the playoffs, or bet on the preseason matchups, do it over with BetUS. Chatsports.com slash bet. Promo code Steelers125 will get you a 125% deposit bonus when you put down at least a hundred bucks that's chatsports.com slash bet promo code is Steelers 125 the Jags are the betting favorite I think you should bet on the Steelers in this one mentioned body media here we go Andrew Filipponi who background I don't follow on Twitter I only see the bad takes and I see them all the time Here's what he said on Monday. A former NFL GM told me he thinks Mason Rudolph could be traded to the Lions by the end of the week. So GM Omar Khan asked about it on the Pat McAfee show, said, you take calls, but I'll be honest with you, we don't really have any intentions of trading any of those guys. We really like them. There's some decisions to be made, but I'd be surprised if anything happens down that path. Well, I mean, I guess that certainly makes some sense from that standpoint that it's not going to happen. But in the event that Mason Rudolph gets traded, we will keep you guys covered. I don't think it ends up happening. The Lions, I know, are thin at backup quarterback. Just kind of get the vibe they're going to roll with Rudolph as a backup for one more year. Hit that big red button and subscribe because as roster moves continue to happen for Pittsburgh, we will keep you guys covered. Rudolph has a somewhat sizable contract for a backup quarterback, and I think he is a replacement-level backup. Is he better than David Blau? Probably. That's the Lions' backup right now. But he's also nothing special. Like He's, he's not going to win the job over Jared Goff, so why would you go trade for a new backup quarterback if you're Detroit? I don't think there's any real market right now around Mason Rudolph in terms of a trade. If you are lucky, I think you get a mid-to-late day three pick, and we're talking sixth at best. If you get a fifth like you did for Joshua Dobbs, it's a steal. I would keep your expectations low in terms of a trade because Mason Rudolph, we've seen him play so much, he doesn't move the needle in the end. So what do you think, in the end, Pittsburgh will do with Mason Rudolph this season? T for they'll trade him, K for they'll keep him, or C for they will cut him. Let me know in the comments section as we get ready to break down the latest comments from Devin Bush. Devin Bush was asked uh, after practice on Tuesday, you know, is this a make or break year for you? Is this your last chance? And Devin Bush said, like, as a stealer? I mean, it's a business. I'll still be in the NFL, so we'll see. What are we doing, my guy? That is not the answer you give when you're asked about, hey, Pittsburgh didn't pick up your fifth-year option. This is your last chance for the team. Are, are you going to have a, a bounce-back year? It just comes off as tone deaf, or tone deaf and basically missing the point and the mark altogether. What you say is you're busting your butt. You want to prove Pittsburgh fans wrong. You want to prove the media wrong that, hey, I am the guy for this team. Because Devin Bush was bad in 2021. He was coming off the injury. And it's easy to say, hey, you know, it was the injury, chalk it up to that, and not panic. But we watched that preseason game. It was bad. He's out there flat-footed, just not seeing the field at all. That's a huge red flag for a guy that he's a good athlete. But if you're not seeing it well, if you're not trusting your instincts, what ends up happening is you're missing the mark on a lot of different things and it makes you play slow that's not a good thing if you're Devin Bush and the Steelers the the early reviews have been negative out of Bush I have said before I'm not out on him because I saw some good things in his first year early in his career last year was bad the preseason complete non-factor that's a huge problem when you were right there for a tackle and you whiffed pretty badly so I hope Devin Bush gets things going but that comment does not reflect a good mindset, attitude, or thought process, which I think is part of Devin's problem right now. The confidence isn't there. Find ways to get the confidence back, not just, ah, oh, well, I'll still be in the NFL. It just seems so dismissive of the problems you've had so far in your NFL career. Now, if you're to the end of today's video, you are a real one. I appreciate that. We'll show you some love in the comment section if you type in, here we go.